Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks please install gk today academy app for regular updates and for revision related content please join our telegram channel the link is given in the description as well as in the pinned comment and for youtube updates please subscribe to youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you get regular updates now let's start what is the name of fourth warship delivered by GRSC to Indian Navy? So recently, GRSC, that is Garden Reach Ship Builders and Engineers, delivered anti-submarine warfare corvette to Indian Navy, and the name of this is INS Kavrati. Now, if we talk about GRSC, the headquarters of GRSC is in Kolkata, and it is a defense PSU. And this INS Kavrati is the fourth and last of the ASWC series that was built by GRSC under Project 28 class. Now, the full form of ASWC is Anti-Submarine Warfare Covets. So, this INS Kavrati was the fourth in this series. The previous one are INS Kamorta, INS Kiltan and INS Kidmat. Now, it should be noted that INS Kiltan was also in use as recently INS Kiltan had participated in Malabar exercise. Answer in comment box which countries participated in this Malabar exercise of last year. The task force on blue economy for sustainable development is a collaboration between India and which country. Now first thing first what is the meaning of this term blue economy. Blue economy means sustainable use of ocean resources. Now coming back to question. So it is a collaboration between India and Norway and recently Minister of Earth Sciences Dr. Harshwadhan inaugurated the event along with Norway's Minister for Climate and Environment. The two countries that means India and Norway also started a new framework for cooperation and the name of this framework is Integrated ocean management and research. Now, if we talk about Norway, capital of Norway is Oslo. Recently, Norway was in news because of CEPI. Now, what is CEPI? CEPI stands for the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations. So, the headquarter of CEPI is in Norway in Oslo. And recently, CEPI was in news because UK donated 20 million pounds for the development of vaccine for coronavirus. So this CEPI is a global institution that works for the development of vaccines. Now UK was also in news as recently Mr. Rishi Shunak was appointed as the finance minister of UK. The prime minister of UK is Mr. Boris Johnson. Now answer in comment box whether UK is a republic or not. Like India is a republic country. so whether UK is a republic country or not. Berlinale is the 17th edition of which famous festival which is set to be inaugurated in Germany. So, it is a film festival that is to be organized in Berlin in Germany and the Indian pavilion is going to be inaugurated by our Minister of Ex External Affairs Mr. S. Jayashankar. He is member of Rajya Sabha from Gujarat which state government has recently launched a scheme named Nadu Nedu for modernizing hospitals. So this is a scheme by state government of Andhra Pradesh. Now one thing that should be noted that a similar scheme was also launched by the state government for the modernization of schools and now this time it is for the modernization of hospitals. Now Andhra Pradesh was also in news as recently it decided to deliver sand at those steps. Now this decision was taken to prevent sand smuggling. Apart from that, Andhra Pradesh was also in news because of Disha Act. Now answer in comment box, what is the purpose of this act? Andhra Pradesh was also in news because of its decision to have three capitals. Along with that, state recently passed a resolution to abolish the state legislative council. Which country is set to host the men's edition of the Junior Hockey World Cup 2021. So India is going to be the host of 
2021 Junior Hockey World Cup and it should be noted that India is going to be the host of men's event while the women's junior world cup is going to be in South Africa and this is the first time that African continent is organizing such a big event now South Africa was also in news as recently South African president Mr Cyril Ramaphosa became the president of African Union most recent summit of African Union held in Addis Ababa and this is in Ethiopia answer in comment box does Ethiopia share border boundary with Atlantic Ocean IDSA that is Institute for Defense Studies and Analysis was recently renamed after which former union minister so it was renamed after Mr Manohar Parikar it should be noted that IDSA is a new delhi based think tank and recently it was renamed as Manohar Parikar Institute for Defense Studies and Analysis Mr Parikar was the former defense minister of india if we talk about defense ministry recently new department was created in defense ministry and the name of this department is department of military affairs and the cds that is chief of defense staff is going to be the head of department of military affairs and the first cds is general bipin rawat previously he was a chief of indian army now the present chief of indian army is general manoj mukund narwane as per the state of india's birds report 2020 which bird species showed a big increase in population so recently the state of india's birds report was released during cop 13 of cms that is 13th conference of parties of convention on migratory species and this convention held in gujarat in gandhinagar now it should be noted that cms is also known as bonn convention and the theme of this year's conference of party was migratory species connect the planet and we welcome them home so as per this report 79% of indian species of birds declined in the population but the population of indian peafowls increased significantly and the population of house sparrows remained almost stable so the summary of this report is that the population of 79% of the species declined the population of indian peafowl increased and the population of sparrow is stable now one more thing this gib that is great indian bustard was the mascot for this 13th conference of parties of cms answer in comment box this gib is the state bird of which state what is the name of exhibition organized by the ministry of textiles for the promotion of geographical indication crafts so the name of this event is kala kumbh and recently this event was organized in bengaluru and mumbai and this is an initiative by the ministry of textiles for the promotion of gi craft the present minister of textiles is ms smriti irani her constituency is amethi amethi is in uttar pradesh and recently uttar pradesh was the host of defense expo this event held in lucknow and during this defense expo the first india africa defense ministers conclave held and after this lucknow declaration was adopted recently nagpur declaration was also in news answer in comment box what was the objective of this declaration kisori ballal who passed away recently was a veteran actor of which language so she was the veteran actor of kannada so she was a veteran kannada actor and she passed away recently she was known for her role as kaveri amma in saudesh movie this was a movie in which sharukh khan played a lead role according to the latest government data india is set to harvest a record production of 106.21 million ton of which rabi crop in 2019-20 right answer is wheat so as per the data by ministry of agriculture the total food grain production is 291.95 million ton and as per this estimation india is set to harvest a wheat production of 106.21 million ton now if we talk about agriculture ministry 
Present minister is Mr. Narendra Singh Tomar. His constituency is Morena. It is in Madhya Pradesh. And recently, in Madhya Pradesh, India's first e-waste clinic was started. This was started in Bhopal. And for this, Bhopal Municipal Corporation and CPCB collaborated. CPCB is Central Pollution Control Board and it is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Soil Health Card scheme was launched in which year? So the scheme was launched in 2015 and it was launched on 19th of February. So that is why this day is observed as Soil Health Card Day. And the objective of this scheme is to issue soil health cards to all farmers every two years. So this card will be like a report card of soil and it will provide information about the deficiencies in soil so that farmers can supplement the soil with suitable fertilizers for better productivity. S. Bandopadhyay was recently appointed as the chairman of which Indian statutory body? So Mr. Bandopadhyay was recently appointed as the chairman of PFRDA that is Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. Now it is a regulator of pension sector while IRDA is a regulator of insurance sector and SEBI is a regulator of stock market. Now coming back to PFRDA, PFRDA was founded in 2003 and the headquarter is in New Delhi. Now recently Andhra Pradesh government started a scheme for pensions and as per the scheme the pension will be provided at those steps and the name of the scheme is YSR Pension Kanuka Scheme. Women Entrepreneurship in India Providing the Economy with Her is a report released by which technological company? So it is a report by Google and as per the report women entrepreneurs in India can generate 150 to 170 million jobs by 2030. Now if we talk about Google, the parent company of Google is Alphabet and present CEO of Google is Mr. Sundar Pichai. The headquarter of Google is in USA. Google was also in news as recently Google launched a short video making application named Tangi. It is similar to TikTok. Google was also in news as recently it announced $1 million grant for the news literacy in our country. And this grant was provided to a news literacy organization, Internews, who has recently been re-elected as the president of Afghanistan. So Mr. Asraf Ghani was recently re-elected as the president of Afghanistan. Actually the election commission of Afghanistan announced the result of elections that held in September 2019. And as per these elections, Mr. Asraf Ghani has been declared as the winner. Actually there were various allegations of vote manipulation while Mr. Abdullah Abdullah came second as per the election results. Now Afghanistan was also in news as recently it became the first country to recognize Indian pharmacopoeia. Apart from that, Afghanistan was also in news because of CAA. CAA is Citizenship Amendment Act and it talks about the provisions of citizenship for the six religious communities from three countries. These three countries are Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh. And these six religious communities are Jain, Buddhist, Hindu, Sikh, Christian and Parsis. And the cutoff date is 30. 1st of December 2014. It should be noted that CAA won't be applicable in the areas of 6th schedule that is in ATMM. ATMM stands for Assam, Tripura, Mizoram and Meghalaya. CAA will also not be applicable in the areas of ILP that is inner line permit and recently ILP was implemented in Manipur. So now 4 states are under ILP. These four states are Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. Apart from that recently Kerala became the first state to pass a resolution against CAA. So far four states have passed resolution against CAA. These four states are Kerala, Rajasthan, Punjab, 
and West Bengal. The government of Kerala was also in news as it approached Supreme Court against the CAA and this was done using Article 131 of Indian Constitution. Rad second, which was tested recently is a nuclear capable cruise missile of which country? So it is a cruise missile of Pakistan. Recently Pakistan was also in news as it declared emergency because of locust invasion. Locust is an invasive species that destroy the crops. In fact, Somalia also declared emergency because of the same reason. Greco-Roman is a term associated with which sports. So it is associated with wrestling and recently this term was in news because Indian wrestler Mr. Sunil Kumar became the first Indian in 27 years to win a gold medal in Greco-Roman wrestling and he won the gold medal at Asian Wrestling Championship and this championship held in New Delhi. Now one thing that should be noted that as per this Greco-Roman wrestling, the wrestlers are not allowed to use the legs or to hold below the waist. That means they cannot grab the leg of opponent or they cannot hold the opponent below his or her waist. Who is the first team player to win Loria's World Sportsman of the Year award? So recently this award was jointly backed by Mr. Lewis Hamilton and Mr. Lionel Messi and Messi became the first team player to win this award. Now if we consider other options recently Virat Kohli was in news as he became the first Indian to have 50 million followers on Instagram. Globally Cristiano Ronaldo has maximum number of followers on Instagram. Recently Mr. Kobe Bryant passed away because of helicopter crash. Answer in comment box he was associated to with sports and what was the name of his team. Which social network company recently acquired the Chroma Labs known for its Chroma Stories app. So recently Twitter acquired it and this Chroma Labs was founded by the employees of Facebook and Instagram and this developed tools for short video and creation of photos and recently it was in news because it was acquired by the Twitter. So these were the important questions of today's quiz. Thank you and that's all for the day.